Hey guys, so today I'm doing another new at the drugstore review. This is like my favorite series to do. It's probably like the only really series I'm doing right now, except for the new at Sephora, but they kind of go together. And I would rather do like new at the drugstore ones because I feel like those are the more heavily advertised products. And just a little side note, if you like my makeup look, right now I just filmed a summer edition of getting ready with me where I do my um, makeup routine I did change the lip color this is one of the new Revlon lip butters that I picked up yesterday in juicy papaya and I love it it's great so anyways the product I am reviewing for you guys today let me put it back in its packaging um, is the Maybelline the falsies big eyes mascara so this is what the packaging looks like do 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 and what it claims to do is to have a 360 degree false lash effect, lift upper lashes, magnify lower lashes, and give you bigger wide open eyes. So I actually picked this up um, probably a month ago now at Walmart and they had a whole stand for it before I'd ever even seen an advertisement for this mascara and by now I'm sure we've all seen their corny ads for this mascara, the it's the next big thing. So I picked it up right away because I have a little thing for Maybelline mascaras or any drugstore mascara in general. Well, Maybelline and CoverGirl, I guess, because every time they've come out with a new mascara lately, like I've felt personally inclined to go pick it up. So made a list of pros and cons for this mascara. I'm actually wearing two coats of it right now. And I filmed a little demo video, so I'll put that in here somewhere. So you can see what my eyelashes look like before and after and what it looks like when I apply it. And I applied this in my getting ready video. So once again, if you want to see me put on two coats of it, I believe I only did one in the demo, then check that video out. I will link it below when it is available. So pros for this mascara, um, the lower lash brush works really great. Like that, my pro is basically just the lower lash brush. Like the only thing similar to this that I've ever had experience with is the Clinique lower lash mascara and that's $10 by itself, but basically you just get this little brush. It's very firm and it feels more plasticky than like felt pipe cleaner bristles. Um, if you look at the top wand, it kind of has a slight curve in the middle. Actually, I think the bristles just kind of have like a little spiral effect because as I'm twisting it, it looks different. But you can see the top one's a lot chubbier. But I really just like the lower lash brush. You can see it really defines and brings out every lower lash. Sometimes that's not a good thing for me because I have really long lower lashes. So like in the corners, it will clump and put way too much on. And I'll just like lick my fingers and like take a little bit off because um, it gets a little clumpy down there. But other than that, I really like the bottom lash brush and then sometimes I'll use it for like the outer and inner corners of my top lashes to give them a little more extra definition and precision because it really gets in there and it's a really good defining like combing out brush. I really like that this gives you a lot of volume and your lashes like flare out rather than like just getting really longer and building on top because I have naturally long lashes. If you saw my last mascara review, I did the Colossal Cat Eye one, so check that out if you haven't. Um, but I was telling you guys how like I have long eyelashes and I like to fork out and they don't like clump, but they like separate, which is so annoying. But this I like because it will like pick them all up and fan them out really well. So I like it for that. They really make some flare out, like I guess it's saying the 360 degree lash look. I really like that it's a two-in-one product. You get two wands for the price of one. Like I was saying, if you were to buy the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, that'd be $10. And then if you were to buy one of the regular mascaras, it's probably like around $20. So that's $30 right there. Or if you're buying two drugstore mascaras, it'd be like $14 because I think this was around $7 or $8. Maybe a little less at Walmart. I don't really remember. But it's like the usual price of a drugstore mascara. It's not like that $10 really expensive Maybelline price. It's like the 
seven, eight dollar price line, I'm thinking. So I really like that you get two for the price of one because that's really maximizing it. And then if you don't like one of them, you can always use the other one. Like the top lash wand is like almost too chunky for me sometimes. Not chunky, but just like chubby, I guess, because it gets really messy when I apply it. Um, but I do really like the bottom lash, so if I didn't like the top one at all, I could just use the bottom lash one and use it to comb out my upper lashes and lower lashes once I was done using another mascara. So there's two chances to like it. And I like the slim packaging. I feel like mascara tubes these days are like freaking huge. Like I just got a Rimmel one the other day and it must be like that thick around. Like is that really necessary? Like this is good. It's a little slim packaging. It's about the same size as um, the Lash Stiletto, just round instead of square. And like CoverGirl, like the Lash Blast Mascara, like that's a huge tube, but this one's nice and skinny, so I like that a lot. Probably has less product in it, especially because you have only this much of each um, of mascara in each side. But I feel like this will still last a long time, and even if it doesn't, it wasn't like the most expensive thing in the world, so you could always replace it. But overall, I do like this mascara. It gives you a nice flirty look. It looks like so much better today than it usually does. Um, so none of my cons are going to make sense because it turned out really well today. But um, I find that overall this is better to like layer. Like yesterday I layered this. I did um, the first coat of my upper lashes and then one or two coats on my bottom lashes of this. And then I put the new CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara on top. And I had such good definition. Like I was so impressed with my eyelashes yesterday. I loved them. So I feel like this is really good to have in your collection for all the reasons I just listed, but I feel like overall it's better as a um, layering mascara. So the things I don't like is this is a very wet formula. And I don't know why, but whenever I apply it, usually just on the top lashes, but sometimes on the lower, like I will get so much in my crease. And then it takes forever to let that dry and then go back in with a cotton swab and clean that up and you see me do that in both the demo and my getting ready video because it makes such a big mess it like takes so long so that's why if I were in a rush I don't think I would reach for this because you have to you know unscrew the top and unscrew the bottom and use both of those like that and then you would have to go back and clean afterwards that maybe just like me applying mascara weird I know I do it I like blink into it I don't know, that's how I do it, and most people just kind of squint, and they don't completely close their eyes, so maybe that has something to do with it, but I mean, I like the way my lashes turn out, but it just gets so messy on me, so that's why I don't like it. Maybe the brush is like too wide or too soft or something, but it gets all over my lids, so that's kind of annoying. It does give you a nice end effect, though, but it's, ugh, it takes so long to finally get there. And um, the only other con I haven't mentioned already is that it usually takes two coats of this or layering this with another mascara to get, like, the look that I like. Like, these are, they're not, like, super, super long, which I like because some mascaras make my eyelashes obnoxiously long because they're long to begin with. But this, you know, fans them out. And it makes them really dark. Oh, I didn't even say what color I have this in. I have it in very black, the not waterproof version. So the waterproof version may be less wet. I can't really say because I don't have it. I like to buy, um the washable mascaras that aren't waterproof because the waterproof ones are really tough for me to take off at the end of the day and they end up just ripping out my eyelashes and it's not a fun time so I'd rather do this and then like if I am know I'm going swimming I can plan ahead and use a waterproof one. Um, overall I do really like this. Ooh! Pfft, dropping things. I would recommend this if you like a really like flared out defined look if you have naturally long lashes to begin with like I do because it doesn't give you I mean it gives you length every mascara does but it's not like a lot like from back here you probably can't see like my lashes you know going out to my eyebrows or anything like you can with some other mascaras I wear in some of my videos I've noticed but that's just that's too long in my opinion so this gives me the perfect length I don't know about someone who was starting with shorter lashes it really flares them out it makes your bottom lashes look amazing so if you have short bottom lashes but like longer top lashes this would be great for you so if you're looking for a really defining mascara one that has like a bottom one fit in or even if you're on the market for a lower lash mascara you could buy it just for this one and then you know try out the top one just for haha -ha. if you're in need of a new mascara I would recommend this one but just know that it can get a little messy and it's a pretty wet formula but if you have the patience for that and you have a little extra time in the morning I'd say like doing my mascara like this I think when I filmed the demo it took around five minutes to do which I feel like is a little 
too long to just spend on mascara but then again I'm a little obsessive with it so everyone's different it might take you less time but if you're looking for a quick mascara that will give you really long lashes in one coat this is not the mascara for you this is a mascara for people with patience and who aren't looking for length but more volume I'm really happy that Maybelline finally has a mascara in the Volume Express line that actually gives you volume. Like usually they just give you length. I rant about this so much in my Cat Eyes mascara review. So that's about all the points I had to make about this mascara. I do like it. I have been using it for a few weeks this summer and I'll just keep using it until I find one I like better. It's the current one I'm using so I must like it a lot to use it every day. And I'm going to take it on vacation with me so it is a good one to try out if you're in the market for a new mascara and you're looking for the things that this provides. So, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Please, please, please request um, more products for new at the drugstore. I might do one on the new lip butters. I know there's four colors and so far I have two and the other two have been impossible to track down, but I am on the hunt. So, um, let me know if you'd like anything like that and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye!